Hi everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to share with you all how you can trigger your cloud flow based on the regarding table for Dynamics 365 or Dataverse. For the agenda today, I will provide a brief overview of what this regarding object is and then we're going to talk about the issue before we jump straight into the demo. The regarding object that I'm referring to is a particular lookup column type in Dynamics 365 or Dataverse. It allows you to associate a table to an email activity or something like a SharePoint document location record so that you know what this email is in reference to. So for example, whenever you create an email activity, you can set the regarding value to either a case, an opportunity, or an account, or any other table that you would like. And in terms of how this regarding object is made up, it has two parts. So there is something that we call the value, which is the good of the row. The other part is the type, so this represents the table of the row that is associated to the particular activity record or the SharePoint document location record. The issue is that when you are using the trigger when a row is added, updated, or deleted, there is an option where you can provide an expression in the row filter field. However, if you try and use regarding object ID type, this isn't going to work and that is because when you review the columns that are available in the table in the Power Apps Maker site, you will see that there is no property that you can reference called regarding object ID type. And if you also look at the API for something like the SharePoint document location record, you can't see what the regarding object type is. Well, it's a property that's not listed in there. So how do we reference it? Well, this is what I'm going to share with you all in this WTF episode. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the demo. I'm going to head over to the Power Automate Maker site and show you my cloud flow. As I mentioned, my trigger will be whenever a document location row is added. And as you can see, there's that row filter field that I was referring to. So don't put your expression in here because it's not going to work. I've put this compose action in here so that I can show you um, what the run history is of this flow because for every cloud flow you need at least one action. Alright, so let's go check out the run history of a previous flow. Now one of the beautiful things about cloud flows in Power Automate is that you can reference its properties downstream in the flow from the trigger. So if you need to reference a particular value from the trigger, you can do that in your cloud flow today. So let's have a look at the properties that are available from the trigger. And once we have a look at it, we can see that there is a property called regarding object ID type. Now this is perfect because this is the property that we can use in our condition for the cloud flow trigger. What I will do is go ahead and copy this and we're going to go back into the edit mode of our cloud flow and we're going to go ahead and insert our condition. So I'm going to head over into settings and I'm going to add a trigger condition. So this is completely separate to the row filter expression where you're providing uh, an O data expression in here is where I'm referencing the property from the trigger and I can do that by using an expression in here. So I'm going to go ahead and type out my expression. So in here is where I will paste that value. Uh, sorry, the property, which is regarding object ID type. And then what I will do next is enter the entity set name of my table, which is incidents. And we are pretty much good to go. So just like that, I've entered my expression that is referencing the regarding object ID type property from my trigger. So let's go back to the run history. And what we will do next is go ahead and upload a document into SharePoint. So I'm heading to the Documents tab. And once I click Upload, 
Behind the scenes, what's going on is that a SharePoint document location will be created. So now when I select meeting minutes and click open, I will be able to upload the document into that document location. So just to show you that that document location did create behind the scenes, here it is over here. And so now when I click OK, we are going to see this document uploaded. And then when we go back into the Cloudflow run history, we should see that my Cloudflow has been triggered. And again, it's because of how I have entered that expression as a condition for my trigger. If we go back into Dynamics 365 and we upload a document against an account, the Cloudflow should not trigger, and that is because the regarding object ID type will not equal incidents, it will equal accounts. So yeah, let's see if this does work, okay. So here is my document that I'm gonna upload. I'm going to click OK, and now when we go back to my flow run history, we should see that nothing has been triggered. Voila! OK, and that is it for today's WTF episode. If you want to trigger your cloud flow based on the regarding table, enter your expression in the conditions, uh, which is under the settings option of the trigger, and that's it. So yeah, hope you like it and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you in the next WTF episode. Bye! Turn up. Let's, let's go.